when will the sun ever come out? It's been raining and raining and raining and raining. And I really need to attend to my babies. But I couldn't because it's wet. It's cold and it's not very pleasant. <laughs> so I'm getting frustrated because I really want to work in the garden or even just tend to my plants and I couldn't. I was unpacking the stuff in the car. Most of the our camping gear are still in the car and I haven't even unpacked the caravan and it's raining again. For the whole week, I saw the sun come out probably a couple of hours only. But this area here is dry. Look at that. Ah, oh, my Echeveria. Uh, I forgot the name. <laughs> Bloody Maria. Yes, that's a Bloody Maria. And this one is probably a Frankie or could be, hang on, oh, Frank Hybrid. It is a Frank Hybrid. Close. But, yes, you can have coffee, I was going to say. No cigars, but I'm going to have a coffee instead. And these ones are a lot of dark, oh, look at that, oh, purple delight or um, crystal, Graptivaria purple delight crystal. Look how beautiful that is. And big. This is not small, this is quite large because it's etiolated. Look, it's gone leggy because it's still sort of in the shade. And this one are my Mexican snowball. Look how gorgeous the Mexican snowball in the center there. And then up the top is uh, another Echeveria elegance. I forgot what it's called now, but down in the bottom here, that is raspberry ice. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. So Echeveria elegance raspberry ice. And I can see it's got more farina compared to the elegance and it's smaller. Uh, that one there, I think that one is acacia ponds. Those, so this is mostly elegance. So I planted most of them here just so I can tell the difference. Because I kept thinking that a lot of people have got all these different names for elegance. You look at it and when it's grown with a lot of fertilizer, a lot of water, or also uh, grown in the nurseries they tend to be greener bigger so it is difficult to identify which is what but now grown in the same condition same soil same area there you go i'm just gonna lift it up uh, then i can tell the difference that they are indeed hang on they're indeed very different now this one here is called the moon glow and i thought it was a pudgy so because <laughs> it's looking like a pudgy and uh, this area here, oh my goodness, what are you? You are, are you Ben Buddies or Fabiola? I forgot about you. Fabulous, fabulous Fabiola. Now beautiful, gorgeous, look. Due to our weather, I could not really have a close look at my plants as well. Guys, if you haven't got Eleanor, Chevalier Eleanor, or Nosbombrianum or something like that, something... <laughs> I can't pronounce it right now. My brain doesn't have enough coffee. This is only my second coffee for the day and it's already two o'clock. And then this one is Ruby Blush or Ruby Necklace, sorry. Ruby Necklace. And there's also another name for that, but I couldn't think of it right now. So that's uh, rotting. The Not rotting. It is the leaves, but they'll be fine because that got hit by the frost. We had minus six, by the way. So those spots there, this part here, that's what it looks like when it gets hit by the frost and that one that's what it looks like when it gets hit by the frost and takes in a lot of water see that's all rotted but um, pvn is very very hardy plant so i just go clean up the back normally and look even that that got hit by the frost as well so what's going to kill them is the frost more than watering so, oh, hang on. Oh, you're so cute. What are you? You are Rundeli. 
a chevri- it looks like a Vincent Cato, but it's an Echeveria rondelli. Cute, so cute, and they're small. And look at that one, like so red. And that one, look, oh, so gorgeous. Look, my, my thumb. <laughs> look how small that is. So cute, even the biggest one. It's so small. My cante is very much alive. That's been... So I can't remember now, Kante number one, I think that one. So I had a Kante that I tried to save from the rain and the frost and the elements and I put it in the shade and it died. So wherever you grow your plants, you have to leave it there. And this one, I forgot what your name, but you are some sort of hybrid and the flower is just so gorgeous. Looks how cute that is. And still this one is a red edge hybrid. So that is a hybrid red edge. I reckon that's got hybridized with, uh, I didn't grow it, I bought it already as a little baby and then now it's like quadruple the size ready. It's quite big now. So it's only a few months. Ah, sedum lucidum. Oh my goodness, you are so gorgeous. Ah. Oh frost or no frost but you have to keep them in the sun because the minute you put them somewhere in the shaded or shaded area they're not going to color up like this oh gorgeous they'll be more on the green side like that one in there see they're gonna look more like that but look it's got chiseling so look at the face I'm gonna be wearing my coffee soon um, I've got it on my chest anyway see look the facets oh hang on Oh, I'm almost finished with my coffee. Anyway, oh, oh, Tito Buns. <laughs> so beautiful. The backyard lawn. I'm supposed to have put something else on this one now, but I just couldn't get a break. I just couldn't get, look, look, water. I'm probably better off plant, doing a swimming pool here than getting rid. Oh, look, Jonquil's flowering. Oh. The spring flowers are coming out, so which means it's not cold enough or it's getting warmer for them. What? They're actually beautiful flowers. Look at this. Jonquil. Uh, people don't like the smell of jonquil because it's got a really strong scent, but I do love the scent. Beautiful. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, speaking of nice, look how nice that is. We need to clean you up. What are you? You are Sovereign Sands. And look how gorgeous you are. Sovereign Sands, beautiful. My Potosina is getting drenched over there. I need to separate them. Oh, good. It's good to see I got a live Melaco over there. Okay, oh, hands and cheeks. Okay, this is hand and cheeks. What are you? Mm. Look at that, gorgeous color. Now, when they flower like this, this plant, just that one plant there, will die. Hang on, I'll pull it off. So that one is dead, but who cares? Look how many it's got. So that was the original mummy, and these are all babies. Very hardy, hardy. And this one, my mother-in-law, in my mother-in-law's garden, or actually in my garden too, I've got an area where I planted them, and they're just like huge, really, really, as big. Some of them like a couple of as big as this pot. So that one is glow sport. Or oh, what I know, uh, curly locks. They're the freelies. The freelies are not as frost hardy as the other ones. Anyway, I got a whole heap of black prints in here. Look, my black prints. Are you alive? Hang on. There you go. They're all black prints in there. Some are red prints. <laughs> I swear, people are just kept giving them names, different names. Oh, this one. Oh, I forgot. This is something pink. Pink puff or something like that. Mother, hands and cheeks as well. And it's just gorgeous. And that one is Fitkawi, I think. Now, you are just so gorgeous. I want to do a potting video of this one. My Sempervivum Tectorum Jade. Which, at first, before, because it's just mainly that color. Green in the center and red on the edges. And this is the first year that it's shown this color. And that is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Look how gorgeous that is. That is fantastic. Granby. Well, I've shown this one in my other videos that it's so pretty. That's 
granby red it goes red so see the colors so that one's more like greenish red and that one is just like red bread and also this how worthy are look how cute they are oh they're about to fly they are hardier than uh, if if you want to grow succulents one of the succulents I would suggest you grow is Haworthia these Haworthias they are so beautiful and they look like I call them alien plants because they don't look real actually they look like plastic you know it's so that's another um, Haworthia as well are Arachnoidea 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 there's a song like that anyway so that one is supreme look how beautiful you are you are supremely beautiful and my arrangement here is still alive good to see and then that one got hit by something and then now it's still alive so well there's life there's hope and this is my first uh, Semper Vivum arrangement that I made a few years ago and it's still going it needs to be revamp but other than that, they're still okay, so I need to redo that. Anyway, this one is just so gorgeous, the ruby necklace. Oh my goodness, it's just so beautiful, so beautiful, but it's still alive. It's still alive. See the stems, they're all still going through. They're being fed by that, and that string of pearls is, I think, string of beads, that one. I don't know. Gorgeous color. And so as this one red is gone red anyway that's it so oh look black prince black prince and look <laughs> it's gone yellow prince and no rotting no nothing and this one had experienced root rot this is colorata fa linceana it had experienced root rotting before but look at it now a one two three four now from one plant to now four plants so anyway guys that's it that is your daily fix of Liz's vlogs and oh Crassula David the colors are coming out so maybe I should do a video on the colors of winter before winter is over